Hi. Hello. What are we going to talk about today? I hope uh, everyone was enjoying uh, this weekend for the three days there. Yeah, Martin Luther King's okay. birthday. Yeah. Speaking of birthdays, guess who's tw turning 46 in a couple of days? You are. That's right, I am. Yeah. On January 19th, I'll be 46. Wasn't sure there for a while that I'd make it. Yeah, and a few days after that, uh, I got a father that's going to be even, he's going to be in his... He's going to be like 61 or something. Yeah, 61 or 62, something like he's that. He's pretty young. I know, he's younger than uh, Connie, but... Connie's 63, ain't she? I don't know. She's 18 years younger than you. Don't ask me to figure it out. I don't know. 18 years younger. You're 43. Mm-hmm. So that would make her 60. I see 18. 61. Ah! Never mind. We should have figured that out before we start taping. As far as it goes, it's going to be, uh, she, I believe it, she is 60... Six, I don't know. 61 or 2. I thought she said 63. I don't know. Yeah, it's something like that. But I do know that Mike is around 5 or 6 years younger than that, so he's in his late 50s. You know, if that's not true and she sees this video, you're going to get smacked. Well. <laughs> making me that old, making him that young. Not that much. That's what I said. <laughs> I've already known that. Well, we've been having a lot of troubles lately. Yeah. First, our dryer went out. We got a guy that's supposed to be coming over uh, Tuesday, as in tomorrow, uh, to work on it. It's, it's guaranteed. And then earlier, the ending of last week, beginning of this week, uh, our oven and uh, the stove top stove tops uh, went out. Uh, that one thing. I, Glad about that. We had it guaranteed for f a five-year guarantee, uh, full guarantee. So that's for um, it's about it's about three, two years, and three years. We got them in two thousand nine. Yeah. Okay. So we still got a, a while. Once it's been fully redone and everything. Should be well, the stove and the refrigerator will be good for another couple years, but the dryer, which means the washer, also. They're uh, they're expired this month. Yeah, unless uh, we get a letter telling us we want to increase the. We already did. We didn't re-sign up. If we're gonna mm. extend our warranty, we have to do it before the end of the month. Well, then we do need to either go to either where we bought these from, or something like that, and get it. Like I said, we've got until the end of the month to do it. Yeah, um, yeah well, I have to be an advocate of warranties. Because when the dryer went out, I was sure that we were screwed. Yeah. And then we looked at the, found the guarantees and everything, and it said... Well, they sent us a letter saying, your warranty runs out at the end of January. And we didn't redo it. So, so we knew we had until the end of January to get the dryer fixed. And boy, he must have ordered every part known to man, because we have like eight parts in there waiting yeah. for him to come fix it. So He's going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. He's going to be working all day tomorrow. And another sad thing that breaks my heart. My snow's gone and it's raining. Yeah, well, no. If you listen to uh, the weathermen, uh, it will. it is raining tonight. Uh, by tomorrow afternoon or evening, it will convert from rain to snow. Oh, so the snow will come back. And where they were talking about, it was supposed to be almost in the... Later on this week, uh, in the almost in the 50s and things like that, that's not even going to happen. 
the, I think the Sunday high. it's supposed to be in the 50s. They said it's not going to happen. Uh, they're talking about the weatherman. I was just sitting there watching uh, earlier, uh, like that, and they're talking about uh, the highs. The highs for the next several days are going to be in the uh, 30s, not even in the 40s. For the next few days, but by Sunday, it's supposed to go back up. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be like down in the 20s or something, and then go back up to the 50s. I'm like 50s in January. Yeah, I always I've known it for a long time here in Columbus. Uh, if we get one inch of snow falling in one night, this city acts like it's going to be the ending of the world. They'll shut down almost anything in the world. As I said, just tell them to go look up north in Cleveland. They'll have they can handle a heck of a lot let alone Detroit. You're talking about some cities that can handle inches upon inches upon inches and they will have no problem. That's because they're used to having a lot of snow. We're not. They also have a lot of problems because the wind coming in and out of the seas or uh, lakes that they're by. You remember that one year, the first trailer we lived in, it iced. It rained and ice for like all night, and every all of our um, pipes froze. Yeah, our toilet froze, our fish tank froze. All my exotic fish Got were it. belly up, frozen in the ice the next day. Yeah. The only thing that survived was the goldfish. Yeah, even if we had ice on top and the surroundings of it. Yeah, yes. goldfish live through it. They were big ones, though. We'd had them for like five or six years, and they were really big. So, like yeah. that big. That's said. We had those fish a fish tank for a long time. We just um, not. It's not even six months ago we ended our having fish. Got tired of fi cleaning fish tanks. Yeah. Fish is getting diseases and dying, and it's just too hard. Yeah. Okay. That's our discussion for today. We talked a little bit about everything. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys have some fun this week without having all the snow and everything else coming in outside of Columbus. I hope you guys have some fun. Stay warm build a snowman, and then get back in front of the fireplace. Yeah. Love you guys. Mm. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.